This is your full body definition. We are going to hit every muscle in your body. This class in particular is gonna be using a yoga block. So if you don't have a yoga block, a shoe box works just as good, okay? So make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video so that I can keep creating amazing workouts just for you. So let's go ahead and get started. We are doing 20 exercises, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I'll be keeping time for you as always. Follow along and let's have some fun, okay? So the first move is going to be a forearm plank. You're gonna grab the block and we're going to put it in between our knees just like this. Elbows are gonna be down and you're gonna come onto your toes and you're gonna just tap the knees down with the block right there, squeeze the block and then lift up. All right, now modifications are going to be up at the corner for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So put the block right there. Elbows are gonna come down, forearms are parallel to one another, and let's go. Hold right here, tap down, lift up. Tap and lift. I like to place the block a little bit closer towards my knees, and then I can really have control over it. So this workout is meant to challenge you. The intervals are a little bit longer, so find your breath. Do as many reps as you can. Don't be afraid to take a break and then just jump right back in, just building your rep one at a time. All right, little breather. Take the block out. We're gonna go into a side plank here. You're gonna take the knee up here and then the leg is going to lift. Okay, here we go. out of the elbow, okay, so you're not sinking into the shoulder. If you find yourself sinking too much, then definitely take the modification for you, but make sure you're lifting the hips up. You're gonna feel those side glutes work as well. Keep it strong, almost there. You can do it. Okay, other side. That is not easy. But I know you didn't come here to just chill. You came here to be challenged, right? Let's go. those obliques again we're gonna put it in between our knees squeeze it lower the knees down come up crunch right here Whew. good one for the obliques so really squeeze that block this block right here is a cork block so it does have a slight weight to it so depending on how heavy your block is depends on how much you're challenged <laughs> I like to give an exhale as you exert the most energy. Focus here, make sure that you're not crunching in the shoulder. Lift up out of the shoulder. Yes, you are doing it. And breathe, okay. Switch it around, put the block in between the knees. 
Let's go. We're gonna go into push-ups. So you're gonna place the block underneath the right hand, lower down onto your knees, and take a nice big wide push-up just like this. As you start to fatigue, just allow yourself to go slower, to not push yourself beyond your limitations, but definitely reach your edge, all right? Go to your edge, allow yourself to get a little bit uncomfortable. Right there in that discomfort zone is where you're gonna grow. That's where you're gonna get stronger. And I know you're so resilient, and you're just gonna keep strengthening that inner resiliency right here. Okay, quickly come to your back. We're gonna take the block. Legs are gonna be nice and wide in an X, and we're gonna reach it up one foot at a time. So reach it up, reach to the left foot, lower down, reach to the other foot. Tricep dips. We're gonna take the block right here in our thighs. Whew. Fingertips are forward. Try to lift that booty up. Squeeze that block. Here we go. As we lower down, I want you to think about also squeezing the elbows together. Pressing down into the fingertips right here. Lift the chest up. Okay, so no sinking and saggy shoulders. Squeeze our shoulder blades together. Really get deep into those triceps. So we're only doing each of these exercises once. Okay, so that should give you a little bit of comfort, right? Knowing that you give your best right here in these 50 seconds and then it's over, right? You don't have to come back to it again. Whew. After this, we're gonna quickly stand up all the way. All right, let's stand it up. We're gonna put the block right back into the thighs 
We're gonna do chair pose, pulses right here, and then we're gonna lift up onto the toes, little pulse like that. So two pulses, heels down, two pulses, heels up. You can get even on those toes. Stay deep down. Ooh. I know you can get a little bit lower. Don't hold out on me. Three, two, one. All right, quickly bring the block down. We're gonna do box lunges off of the block right here. So that means 90 degrees in the knee, 90 degrees in the back knee. Here we go. And let's add some arms. So we're gonna reach up. I like to call them pretty arms, pretty ballet arms. Whew. Definitely can knock off your balance a little bit. So be careful there. Really think about pressing into the big toe, the back foot, pressing into the big toe of the front toe as well. Making this graceful, the beautiful graceful being that you are. So smooth breaths, smooth arms. Okay, breather, we're gonna go right into the other side. The breath kind of goes up a little bit, which is great. Now let's go. Make sure that the knee is right over that heel. And you're pressing through the big toes. block left knee on the block right here and just gonna take the leg lower and up just like this okay now if you want a little bit more you can go ahead and take the elbows down if you want even more throw an ankle weight on your ankle that'll definitely pick things up Keep the shoulders square, keep the elbow square so the hip can slightly open up just a little bit, but you don't want to be completely opened up, right? For the most part, it's pretty square. And now I want you to think about pointing the toe, elongating the leg, and really feel the leg lengthening as you lift. Good. Now we're going to curtsy it behind, see the knee behind the other one, and you're going to kick to the diagonal tap down and lift. If you need to bring the hand down, let's do that. So we're gonna cross, diagonal, tap down and lift. Cross, diagonal, tap down and lift. Good. There's something different about us. There's something different about us. We're pulling cup after cup after cup. Yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life, real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they think we're so messed up. Uh -huh. Even if what we're doing is bad, there's so many emotions. Sharing stories that we never had yet. No, it is real. I think we're searching for reasons not to be like Alright, switch sides. So just take that block over to the other side. 
reset yourself. If you're going for that little extra push, lower the leg, Eat elbows down, and let's go. So I'm really thinking about squeezing my booty up at the top there. I'm elongating through my back, pointing my toe, and I'm engaging my quad so my leg stays super duper straight. Usually the biggest mistake I see is the leg kind of flies and you let go of the straight leg. Okay, so make sure that the leg stays straight all the way through. Staying on the elbow, and where it crosses, diagonal, tap down at that diagonal, lift back up, cross in, let's go. After this, we're gonna quickly roll onto our backs, and we're gonna place our feet on the block to do some bridges. We fly around like paper planes, we never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us, till they want to tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. Quickly, quickly. Both feet are gonna be on the block. Lift on up. Here we go. Lift and lower. So we just worked those glutes a lot. So this is a great compound movement to keep that work going right there on the glutes. Make sure that you're using the glutes, so feel like you have a slight tuck underneath the booty right there to engage the hamstrings, push down into the heels, and keep everything under so you're not just jamming up into your low back, but tuck the pelvis under here. All right, grab the block. We're gonna do layouts right here. So we're gonna lay everything out. You're gonna reach up, touch those toes. Here we go. the legs right here, taking the block, threading it through, keeping the chin in towards your chest. So close. This is where I want you to really focus on staying strong with your form. So point the toes, extend through the leg. Make sure you're breathing. Come on to your stomach. Last one here. We're gonna lift up 
with the arms. Lift up once, and then you're gonna pull back. All right, so lift up arms and legs right here, and then up. you comment down below let me know how that was for you I love chatting with you in the comments subscribe to my youtube channel like this video love you so much I'll see you in the next one bye